Hello! <laughs> uh, I'm Dane, and this is the Halloween This or That tag. Awkward intro, we'll keep going with it. I was tagged to do this by Tia and all the books, there are 13 questions to this. Because it's a This or That tag, it's a question of, would you rather have this or that? I, I guess it's kind of like, would you rather in that respect, except it's not awful stuff. There's some really awful would you rathers. I think the ultimate one is, would you rather have sex with your mum or your dad? That's that's a tough one. So I took the awkward intro and made it even more awkward. Uh, yeah, question number one. Dracula or Frankenstein? Okay, so... Ooh, well, I have this really beautiful edition of Frankenstein. It's up there. I'll go and get it, actually. So this is the SP Books edition of Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. It's actually like a reproduction of the original manuscript. And so it's got, like, all of the crossings out and stuff, the bits that she changed... Uh, there are some notes from Percy Shelley in it throughout as well. And it's just a really beautiful artifact. So because of this, you would think I would be saying Frankenstein. Um, basically, this was sent to me for free by the publishers, full disclosure there. And they do have a Dracula edition of it, but it wasn't amongst the ones that they offered me. Otherwise, I would have gone for Dracula. Because my answer for this is definitely Dracula. Although I do like both. I mean, they're two of my favourite classic novels. But... Dracula, man. I love Dracula. I like I'm just all the supported characters. I just love the whole thing. All right, question number two. Skellington or Sanderson? Okay. I don't know who Skellington is. I'm assuming Sanderson is Brandon Sanderson, who I haven't read, but I do have... Is it called The Final Empire? I have book one of one of his trilogies, or series anyway, which I haven't started reading yet, but because of that, I guess I'll go with Sanderson. Question number three, Freddy Krueger or Michael Myers? I'm going to go for Freddy Krueger. And actually, I saw a great meme the other day. Of, well, it wasn't a meme. It was somebody who dressed up at, at Halloween as Freddy Mercury Krueger. So I'm going for Freddy, Freddy Mercury Krueger. Question number four, vampires or werewolves? I guess, well, so I've got a new tattoo I got a couple of weeks ago. And so I guess because of that, I kind of have to go werewolves. Question number five, zombies or ghosts? I'm going to say zombies. Now, the weird thing here is I was just thinking, I think I'm more prepared to believe in zombies than ghosts. Like, I do, I have a vague zombie survival strategy plan. I even, I've written a book which is sort of about zombies. It's more about zombie animals. I can imagine zombie animals becoming a thing more than zombie people. Yeah, zombies. I'm not, I'm really not doing very, very well with this tag. I didn't sleep very well last night because I, I did some bar work and then my head was ringing. <laughs> so I just spent most of last night just lying in bed, just not doing anything. So now I'm making very little to no sense. Question number six, witches or fairies? I think witches, uh, specifically the Terry Pratchett Discworld type of witch. Um, and m even more specifically, Nanny Og. The world needs more Nanny Ogs. If the world had more Nanny... In fact, no. Yeah, well, the I mean, this is the great thing about the Witches and Terry Pratchett's books. Like, when you have uh, Magrat Garlic, Nanny Og, and Granny Weatherwax, and they all three of them play very important roles, and you almost can't have one without the other. Because I was just thinking, like, Nanny Og will, will sort out global warming, but it's... No, no, Granny Weatherwax will sort out global warming, but Nanny Og will be the one who's, like, cozying up to all the world leaders and actually making them do what Granny Weatherwax says. And then Magrat Garlic will be, you know probably vlogging the whole thing I guess. Question number seven superheroes or supervillains I don't like superhero movies in general um, so neither but I guess if I had to pick one probably supervillains I, I think they tend to be more interesting. Question number eight pirates or princesses um, I'm, I'm not really a princesses kind of guy although I'm wearing a pink t-shirt so I mean I am looking fabulous but I think probably pirates. Well, like, for example, in The Princess Bride, you know, you've got Wesley, who is the man in black, the dread pirate Roberts, who is super cool. And then you've got Buttercup, who, like, she doesn't even, she doesn't even manage to stab herself with a dagger properly. She, she doesn't, does she even have any agency in that movie? I don't think she does. I think things just happen to her throughout. The closest thing she gets to agency is when she asks good old Humperdinck to, to send out letters looking for Wesley, but he's in the pit of despair. And she'd know that if she wasn't so useless. <laughs> so yeah, pirates. 
Question number nine. Candy corn or caramels? Um, well, I mean, I don't mind candy corn. I don't think I could eat it, though. So, I, I don't know. I haven't had it since I was, like, 15. I don't know if I can eat caramel either, though. I, I guess I'm more likely to find vegan caramel than vegan candy corn. So, I'm going to go caramel. Question number 10. Popcorn balls or candy apples? Uh, I guess candy apples because popcorn balls aren't really a British Halloween-y thing, I don't think. I've not come across popcorn balls. Question 11. Apple cider or pumpkin spice latte? Well, at the moment, I mean, I didn't drink last night. I had one beer, actually. We had a celebratory beer after everybody left because we've been working for like seven hours. But I feel terrible today. So I don't want cider. Well, it depends because if it's American cider, it could be soft cider, which to us we just call apple juice. And then hard cider is what we would call cider. And then apple cider. Cider is usually made out of apples. I mean, if, it, if it's apple juice, I'm going for apple juice. If it's hard cider as in alcoholic cider, I'm going to go with a pumpkin spice latte, as long as I can get a vegan version with like some almond milk or something. Question number 12, hayride or haunted house? I don't even know what hayride is, so we're going to go with a haunted house. Yeah. There's a, there's a good like ghost train at a place called Drayton Manor Park, which is like a theme park near where I grew up. It's actually about a mile, mile and a half away from my house. You can see some of the rides from my, my old bedroom window. So I used to have a season ticket and we'd go there after school and yeah, they had a haunted house. That was all right. Question 13, costume party or spooky Netflix binge? Definitely the spooky Netflix binge. Um, I mean, y you know, I'd, I'd have room for maybe one other person and my cat, but I don't want, I don't want, I don't want a big old costume party, especially not today. I'm, I'm so tired. Let me just watch Netflix. Let me just lie here. Oh. So there we have it, that was my kind of low energy, just, oh, I don't know what that was, but it was my attempt anyway at the Halloween this or that tag. Thank you to Tia and all the books for tagging me. I'm going to go through and tag some people now as well, and so to do that I always go, uh, I go into my recent comments, and then I tag some of the people who've recently commented. The idea being, they'll probably see the next video, you know? Plus it's nice to give a little bit back to the comments. Okay. So I'm going to tag Charles Heathcote, Louise Hill, uh, Jashana C, Bookish, Stacey's Stories, Jason's Weird Reads, Todd the Librarian, of course, Written in Blood, and uh, I read past my bedtime as well. And of course you, if you would also like to do it. So there we have it. That's what I made of the Halloween this or that tag. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments. I guess if you agree with my answers, let me know what you're going to be dressing up for this Halloween, if you're going to dress up at all. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.